I stink right now. And it's not my fault this time. Uh, it's actually because I just showed a house that was the home of a long-term smoker. So naturally the clients want to know how to get rid of some of those pesky smells if I actually wanted to buy it. Let's think about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Coffee with Coleman, where we love to discuss business, real estate, Washington, D.C., all that good stuff. I have now showered, feeling much better, less stinky, but this is a good opportunity to discuss something that, that comes up on the regular. I saw an article in doing a little research about this that actually said that a house can lose 29% of its value if it's just engulfed with a smoke smell. So it can impact your bottom line, whether you are looking to sell your place or whether you're looking to buy the place. If you're looking to sell the place, that's money out of your pocket. If you're looking to buy the place, well, you might be able to strike a little bit of a deal. So these are the things you need to do in order to try to get the smoke smell out of your house. First thing is get rid of anything that's a fabric. So carpet, carpets, drapes, furniture, anything in there that's absorbed a smell, try to get that out immediately. The next thing you do is if you have exposed floors, if you can sand them down and restain them, that would be an ideal situation. Uh, as for the walls, uh, what's recommended is that you wash all the walls and then you put uh, some new paint on it, either a couple different layers of paint or they actually make a, an encapsulation type of paint that helps make sure that, that something doesn't come back through. And then once you've done all that, you can also get an ozo machine. And what this does is it essentially purifies the air. You can buy one on Amazon if you want one, or you can also rent one from a local hardware store. Uh, a Fragers might have one on Capitol Hill, but I'm not 100% certain. So I would give them a call and see if they wouldn't be able to help out. You should also get your HVAC system fully serviced and clean. And I mean, have them get into all the ducts, scrape out the walls, do everything you can because that's the thing that's moving the air around your house the most. Certainly there's no guarantee to get the smell out 100%, but if you're a buyer looking to buy, you might get a little equity just from learning how to deal with this. And if you're a seller looking to sell, well, let's increase that bottom line and make sure you can get as much money as possible by attracting the most amount of buyers. Thanks again for joining me on another Coffee with Coleman. Peace.